Hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. Today we're taking a look at the case of Ramona Wilson, who was 16 by the time that she disappeared. Uh, she lived in Smithers in BC in Canada. Uh, on June 19th in 1994, she decided to go out at about 9 p.m. Uh, out to enjoy her evening, I believe, with some friends. In any case, there was some type of party or some type of event evolved. Uh, she seemed perfectly happy and she'd just hang out, uh, had some dinner, and watch some TV with her brother. Everything seemed fine. And there was no indication of Ramona wanting to disappear or anything like that. As a matter of fact, they found an uncashed paycheck in her room when they went and searched it after she had already been missing for some time. So there's really no reason for her to disappear. She was actually looking forward to going to university as the first person in her family and stuff like that. She had all sorts of plans and hopes and dreams. Uh, anyway, so she left at around 9 p.m. on June the 11th and never returned as is quite often when the missing person was reported to the RCMP they decided to just say oh just wait a week she'll turn up um, sure she's just drinking and partying with her friends or something along those lines which is a very often heard excuse to not go and uh, look for people when when she actually didn't show up for her work and other places where she would normally go um, because she enjoyed going there they actually decided to go and check it out which is when they went to search her room and found the uncashed paycheck uh, it took about 10 months before they actually found her body. There were two teens uh, riding some quad bikes in an area near the airport, I believe also near a rugby field, and one of them got stuck in the mud. And it was actually when they went to look for something to get themselves unstuck out of the mud, like a big stick or something, that they found her remains. Now apparently, according to some, this is not really confirmed, her clothes were found folded neatly nearby. And also nearby were a yellow rope and three interlocking nylon cables, uh, which could also have been placed by a killer or somebody else who's trying to throw people off their track. Now the area itself uh, apparently is not easy to find for somebody who is not from around there who, or who doesn't know the area. So the suspicion is that it's somebody local or at least somebody known to the area. Uh, since it had been 10 months since she had been left there in that area, they couldn't find any forensic evidence. And uh, unlike many other victims who are normally found just along the road, uh, along the Highway of Tears, she was actually hidden among some bushes, which is something unusual, I suppose. So that made some people think that this was somebody who was not a, uh, a regular to this type of behavior, like maybe an accidental death or something. But even so, you would expect to... If so, if you just put yourself in mind for a moment if you accidentally ran over somebody or something like they said may have happened like you're driving drunk down the road and you uh, hit something and you're not really sure what it is you go back to look and it turns out to be a person uh yeah i understand that there would be a panic maybe but eventually it would come clean i would think at the very least you probably wouldn't spend a lot of time putting them in a bush in an area that other people are not familiar with so just seems a little strange uh, that this would be an accidental death. Uh, at least that seems that way to me. Anyway, but we're going to take a look at the case with the tarot today. We're going to start off with the Crow Tarot, which is already on the table. And for any further questions, we're moving on to the Tarot Mucha, which is this one. As per usual, I'm just going to start shuffling the deck. And when we have enough cards to take a look at, I'm going to pause. And then we can take a look at what we've got together. So without much further ado, let's go.
Okay, so we got a lot of major arcana here. We've got the Hierophant, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, we've got the Chariot, we've got Death over here, we've got the Fool, the Moon, the World, and over here the Lovers. So that's a lot of major arcana energy, which is often uh, unusual because, of course, the major arcana is numbers wise a much smaller group than the uh, four suits. So getting a whole bunch of them at the same time is quite uh, interesting. So let's just go ahead and start then over here. We've got. Uh, the Hierophant, and the Wheel of Fortune, and the Chariot. Let me grab them real quick. So the Hierophant is in reverse. So that is somebody who is supposed to be a uh, notable person in the community or somebody who has some type of notoriety or sway over people. Uh, this will be your church leaders. This will be, could also be the police, could be anybody in some type of position of authority. I tend to see the Emperor more for police, but it could also be Hierophant if it's somebody who has like a bit of a... Um, uh, neighborhood cop type feel to them like you know them that type of thing and therefore they are more likely to sway you to do something or not because they have a certain standing within the community so we have somebody like that who is potentially up to no good and then we've got the wheel of fortune which is just things changing fortune changing and since it's in reverse the hierophant it might be negative fortune because we also see the chariot in reverse which is usually things coming to a standstill and plants coming to a standstill, things just changing in a negative atmosphere as you can see here. The wheel has spun and we've landed on something red by the looks of things which might not be a good thing. So that's uh, looking like somebody got her attention and they tend to be somebody whom uh, a lot of people pay attention to because they have a, a certain standing within the community like I said. They came up and either did something or suggested something. Something happened, they suggested a change. It was a negative surprise as well over here, aside from things just standing still. This could be like a time freezing moment, like things change your life and it's like, oh, you know, when you finally realize that you've lost your keys or something, that's like the small version of this, like, oh, you have this moment where everything just kind of slows down or maybe have it like a hot and cold sensation, just this moment where you're like, oh, this is not good. Like things are really almost like a terror moment, but then very quickly. So that is also reflected by the Page of Cups in reverse because that is just a negative surprise, followed by Death and a Seven of Cups. So Death is again a change of uh, the scenario. Grabbing these two, oh, just threw the other card off the table. Let me grab that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to look back at the recording, but I think when the Seven of Cups was on the table, it was upright. But it landed reverse, so that's interesting because I was about to grab both of them and death and it just decided to fly away and now it's in reverse. So it seems almost like it represents the fact that things changed, but for a moment they had a, uh, a feeling of maybe I can get out of this, I uh, wish I could do this, I wish I could do that, and then it turned out that that was no longer an option and that is why it's now in reverse. So things changed very drastically and it turned out that she had no options, which is why the Seven of Cups was in reverse the second time that I picked it up. Then we have the Fool and the Moon in reverse and the World. There's a lot going on here in the second row. Let me grab these two first. So the Fool is upright and I think since the moon is in reverse, it's like they wandered into a situation that they should not have seen. They've seen something that uh, they could not unsee. This is what it's starting to look like. And something that is probably connected to the Hierophant. Like they just caught somebody in a bad moment. And since they were not able to hide the fact that they'd seen it, the bad things happened to them. So it's almost like they ran into somebody who was doing something that they shouldn't be. And now there's no way back. That's what this seems to be saying. The moon is secrets being revealed upside down anyway. And the world as well is revealed in that sense, like things happening in the world, like the world view shifted right here because of this moon in reverse and her having wandered into this situation, the world shifted, even though it shows upright, uh, there's just a new look to the world. And we see here the King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And the lovers ended up uh, like this and I wasn't sure if I needed to put it like upright or reverse so I just left it sideways but let's go and take a look at the king of wands first with the nine of pentacles now the king of wands is somebody who is very 
swift to act, uh, is also very stubborn. Really feels like they are the one who are, is going to make everything happen because they are so actionable and resourceful as well. They have a lot of fire to them as well. They, uh, they're kind of like the Leo, I guess, in the sense of uh, like a zodiac thing. Has a lot of Leo energy, not not at least because of the the lion down there, but also because of the sun and the lizard over there that has like the fire uh, energy to it. So that appears to be somebody who is involved in this. This might be representing the Hierophant as well. So this is the type of person that we're looking for. So it's somebody who is supposed to be respected by the community. They were up to no good and they are usually a fairly actionable and uh, fiery personality. Now they see here, I think uh, this is them thinking about how they would lose a lot of their resources if this were to come out. So this is definitely a cover up. It looks as though uh, like they uh, found her encountering something that they were doing that they wanted to stay covered up because it would really lose them their crown and a lot of resources that came along with his title. So that is potentially the reason. Now the lovers is on its side, like I said, so it could be that they knew them and they're like, I don't know if I should do this because I know them, I know their family, uh, they're good people, blah, 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 that type of thing. But apparently this loss of resources was too great for them to not do anything because even though they appear to be undecided, the action was taken regardless. So let's move on to the Terra Mucha for some further information. So we've seen so far somebody uh, that uh, Ramona saw being up to no good and then they decided to take action against Ramona because of that. Let's see what else we can get. Everything is falling on the floor these days. Okay, let me grab those two. Okay, so here we have the wheel again and we've got the eight of swords and both in reverse so the wheel is back and this time it's in reverse so that looks like a negative changes to the world and it is because of this mental trap that they find themselves in because you see here the eight of swords which is usually like a mental trap uh, that you could easily walk out of. They could easily take those ribbons off of them and they could unfurl their dress. It's not like they're really caught in something, but because it's in reverse, I believe that this person has been thinking uh, this way for so long that it's just part of their mindset. Like they can't, if this happens, then that has to happen. You know, like this obsessive thinking almost. So when he found her snooping around or just happening to see something, he felt like, okay, now I have no choice. Even though they felt conflicted about their relationship or uh, the connection that they had to the community or something uh, that they knew it was going to have a really big impact, uh, they decided that they had no choice because it's also in reverse here, this uh, wheel. Like this wheel is being turned by them almost. Like it doesn't have to be turning right now, but it is because they are stuck in this mindset, it seems as though. Oh, we got two of them right here. Three of Cups and a Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Three of Cups is upright. So maybe initially they just decided everything was fine, but meanwhile they are working against certain things. This uh, kind of strikes me as they were trying to keep her calm initially to keep Harmony going, but in this Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles is something that you've been working on, something you've been preparing. As you can see, this person is harvesting the pentacles that they grew over some time. I think that this is more they already had a backup plan, so to speak, and that was now being put into action, it seems like. So while they're trying to keep her calm, they're also like uh, planning out their next move, which is something that they've been thinking about probably for some time. Oop, okay. This one. And again, here we are with the Page of Cups, which is in this case upright. So now comes the surprise, like after they're trying to keep company, uh, there is this plan, which got shoved to the side there. And now comes the big reveal with the Page of Cups. Let's see what else we have here, because there's a small stack. Uh, we have 
King of Swords, so here comes somebody with a very manipulative tongue into the situation, so he decided to uh, reveal it by telling lies, perhaps manipulating them, or at least uh, giving them some type of spiel, I want to say. And uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This could be what they're telling them right now. Like, okay, this has to happen because if not, then all this other stuff is going to happen. You don't want that, do you? Because that's a lot of lost resources. Can't have that. So this is why X, Y, and Z needs to happen. Six of Wands over there and the Lovers in reverse. Okay, so or just Two of Cups. Two of Cups is very, yeah, it's very much lover energy. So it's like the minor arcana version of the lovers, but okay, so this is the part where um, the mask basically falls from their face because the six of wands is normally like a hero. You can see that he's got like this wreath on his end of his stick and everybody's kind of cheering him on. Uh, he's the big hero of the day, but it's in reverse next to a reverse two of cups, which like I said, is very much a lover's card. So this is the part where the hero position that he may have had in Ramona's eyes is a taken away and the relationship is permanently disturbed. So this is the big reveal where they show what they're actually up to. And now there's no turning back either because now they have shown their hand and they got no other way to go but forward. Let's see what else we can get. Okay. Magician, kind of in reverse, although it kind of landed halfway. And we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so yeah, this is somebody, like I said, feeling like they have to defend themselves because that's what the Seven of Wands is normally about. People are coming for them and they're like, I'm going to fight them all off by myself because I'm just that good. I'm at this raised platform. He's looking up at the sky as though to say, um, I've got divine uh, justice on my side or something along those lines. It's kind of like uh, what this card in particular is saying. Normally that's not a Seven of Wands thing, but um, it kind of looks like that's what's happening. And then uh, they uh, employ whatever tricks they have up their sleeve to make that happen. So this will be the moment where whatever he did to her happens, because that's his plan. What about afterwards? So wait, hang on. That's a lot of cards. These two in any case. Oh, and there's two of them. Okay, I will grab all four of them, that's fine. So afterwards we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, so this is something that does weigh on their mind and they seem to be thinking about going other places. This could also be like uh, wishful thinking, almost like a Seven of Cups, but more like if I could go back kind of thing. Not like I wish this, I wish that, I wish I could go back, do it over again. Maybe I would have gone here, maybe I would have gone there, I would have started XYZ activity uh, at a different time or a different date, something like that. It's got these two as well. So they're burdened by this fact, the uh, the thing that they did to her. Uh, we have the Sun in reverse and we have the Knight of Cups. So the Sun has left their life and they're kind of depressed I would imagine and also this is somebody who is very much locked in their own feelings. Depression uh, again signified by the reversed Knight of Cups this time. Knight of Cups is usually somebody who is very much focused on their own emotions but I feel like in this case it's even more so. Like they're really stuck inside their own little bubble and they've retreated in all sorts of different ways. They might still be out there doing their job, but uh, people who know them will have noticed a certain shift in their behavior, I think. So that seems to be happening. Maybe look for somebody like that. So let's grab a few last cards, maybe to see if we can uh, see any justice for Ramona. Will he be caught? Will they be caught? Once again, card on the floor. I see a Ten of Pentacles on the floor and we've got a Ten of Swords here. I'll grab the Ten of Pentacles real quick. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We've seen the Ten of Pentacles before, so this is the same energy. He still believes that he would have lost everything if he had uh, let her go. So that is still happening. We also have here the Ten of Swords. 
which is still feeling extremely bad about it. But we also have here the High Priestess in reverse, so maybe this is representing the fact that they're able to hide themselves really well, or they're going against their own intuition because the High Priestess does represent intuition and that type of insights. Could also mean that they're really good at blocking people from uh, catching on to them, even though they are showing some signs because of all this depression uh, stuff that I'm seeing here. Like somebody, like I said, if they know them well enough, uh, they'll know that there was a change in them somewhere around 1994-1995, and they may not have been the same since then, although it'll be difficult to figure out why exactly that is. And they're really good, I think, at avoiding people's intuition in some other ways. Like maybe they'll just, maybe they used to always be a certain way, like a chipper or something, and they're still joking around, but it's a little different like that. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, maybe a last card before we sign off. Two cards slid out the bottom of the deck, so we'll just grab them. Okay, final cards we have here, the Seven of Swords, which is Trickery, and the Five of Wands in Reverse, which is a struggle, which could be an internal struggle. Yeah, this is more pointing towards the fact that he is very good at tricking people, because that's what the Seven of Swords is representing, although there is the internal struggle. So we really need somebody who's really good with their High Priestess energy to seek out... Uh, exactly what's going on with this guy because he's pretty good at hiding it. You need to keep a close eye on people who are known to be hierophants in that community. Somebody who has this position normally within the community and who has changed around that time to be more depressed or more reclusive maybe or slightly more dead in the eyes. I don't know. Some people are really good at keeping secrets and manipulating people around them. Uh, into believing that everything's fine. And I think this is one of those people. So I really need somebody who is good at um, observing people's behavior and stuff like that in order to have an idea of who we're looking for, but then you're still looking for evidence because you can have an idea of who it is. But if you have no evidence really, and nobody coming forward, then you're out of luck. So that's what I'm seeing for Ramona Wilson. Hope you found that interesting. Uh, in any case, make sure to leave a like and a comment. That really helps the channel along. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.